Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the track editor in Chiptune Champion to create your own custom songs for the game. So we're going to start by going to File New, we're going to choose an audio file, you can see down in the bottom right here we've got four file types to choose from. I'm going to choose OG and we'll just pick something at random here. And here we enter a name for the track, so I'll put in tutorial vid. And this is the grid that we have to work with here. So you can see that it's horizontal as opposed to vertical in game. So you've got the zero second point here, increases as we go to the right, right up to the end of the song. So you've got your basic playback buttons here. Play and pause, skip forward and back, and skip right to the end, back to the start, etc. We've also got three difficulty buttons up here to switch between different tracks. Okay, so before we start placing any notes, we want to set up the grid according to the audio. So the first part of that is the beats per minute, or the BPM, and these markers up here represent that. Most of the time you'll only need to set the first one because most songs will have a consistent BPM throughout, but you will get the odd one that will vary the BPM at different points and you will need to change it at different times to account for that. So to determine what the BPM is, I like to use a program called Mixmeister BPM Analyzer. Alternatively, you can just use a bit of trial and error where you place some notes and then listen to it, adjust the BPM accordingly until it sounds about right. So I happen to know that this song has a BPM of 86, so we'll put that in. And the next thing that we need to do is set the offset for the grid. So if we play it here for a second, we can hear that the first note comes in somewhere around here. So we're going to place a note at the start, and then we're going to get a grid offset, and we're going to move it forward, let's say about 50 pixels. We'll try it again. And you can hear that little click sound that goes off as the cursor hits the note there. It's to help with the you're getting the synchronization right. So we can hear there that the click is a little bit early, so we're going to move the offset forward a bit more. Let's try 70. Yep, that sounds about right. Okay, there we have it. Offset done. Another quick thing so you can have a look at is the grid snap. So you see these lines here represent beats, and in between those beats we have a number of different sections. We have the grid snap set to four at the moment, so there's four sections in between each beat. And if we want to change that, we can go to grid snap, set it from anything from one to eight. So if I set it to eight, that will give me eight different sections where you can place the notes nice and close together. So you might use that if you've got a section of a solo in a song or something similar. Most of the time you'll just want four of that. And you can also change the zoom of the grid, zoom in and out, or use a hotkey plus and minus. So you can see that just changes the z how far zoomed in you are on the grid. It doesn't affect the placement of the notes at all, just a visual thing. Okay, so to place some notes, we're going to left click to place. You can also left click on an existing note to select it. Right click to delete. When we have a note selected, we can use the mouse wheel to increase and decrease the tail. And we can use the up and down arrow keys to move the note up and down. So you can place notes however you like, of course, but the general consensus is that you order them in terms of pitch. So notes with the lowest pitch go at this end of the grid, and the notes with the highest pitch at this end. So let's see how that goes for this song. So let's have a listen. So we can hear there's a note here and here by the sounds of it. And another quick tip, if you hold the control button before you press the play button, play the song at 50% speed. 
So if we have a listen to this note compared to this one, you can hear that this one is lower pitch compared to this one. So that, where we have these now makes sense, because this one is more towards the lower end, this one more towards the higher end. So let's have more of a listen. So it sounds like there's another three notes here. So let's compare these to the other two. So just these two first of all. You can hear that this one is higher pitched than this one. So again we've got those in correct order. This one's higher than this one. But we also need to compare this one to this one. So if we do that. You can actually hear that they are the same note. So again we have these correct here. Same pitch, same note, good. And if we look at the next two, we can see this one in the middle here is a higher pitch. We can move that up. And that sounds good. So that's the general idea of how you want to place notes. So to finish off I'll show you a few additional tools and such that you can use. So if we select one note and hold the shift key and select another, all the notes in between those will be selected and from there you can copy and paste or move up and down etc. You can also, when you have a group of notes selected, go to re-snap which will snap them to the grid lines so in a situation where you might want to use this is if you had the BPM set to 86 but then you worked out oh it's actually a little bit wrong it's actually 85 that would mean that the notes are going to be a little bit off from the grid line so we can select all of them go to re-snap and they will go more closely onto the grid lines uh, another thing is whether or not notes need to be strummed so the game will automatically determine that for you but if you want to override that yourself and say no I want this note to be a strummed note you can set strum on here or you can set strum off most of the time you'll just have it on auto there and another thing we can do is so you finish your expert track and you're going to go and do one for the medium difficulty as well you want to base it off the expert track so what we can do is select the medium difficulty and then select this little button here and it says that we can copy track from which difficulty so you've got to be careful with this because it will overwrite all notes in the difficulty we have selected so we have medium selected and we want to copy the track from expert and that will copy in the notes that we placed earlier in Expert and from there you can adjust it to the medium difficulty and such and the very last thing that we might want to do is publish the track to the Steam Workshop so we can hit the publish button here and it asks if we would like to create a new item or edit an existing one so we want to create a new item and here we select our track, so ours was tutorial vid and here's where we put in the details so we can put in the song title the artist name the description is optional, you can put that in if you like but you don't have to and lastly we select the difficulties that we have tracked and click OK and now we give it a minute to upload and there we have it item upload successful so that's about everything that I needed to cover here thanks for watching and I hope to see some tracks of yours in the Steam Workshop see you later